City Pictures present the world movie premiere of the soon-to-be classic, Doyle Anne for Nerder.
for the both of us. And I asked her to tell me everything. And out it all came. The bank job, the hidden money, the trouble with the McCluskey brothers, the man in the phone raincoat she glimpsed outside her apartment at midnight, the decline and fall of the Roman Empire, Rick Astley, everything. Soon, she was crying. Great heavy tears that splashed under the floor. I looked around for a tissue. Then she searched through her handbag for her mascara. It was a big bag. A very big bag. I liked her. She had vulnerability. Like a newborn foal taking its first faltering moist-eyed steps in a forest made of shattered dreams. She'd been hurt, hurt bad. But I was gonna make the hurting stop, no matter who I had to hurt to do it. Crazy dame. She also had some environmental issues. That's another story. I opened a bottle of champagne I happened to have hanging around. I lit a fire. I suggested I put on some music. Wagner. She didn't like Wagner. Jazz. She didn't like that either. So I suggested my favorite LP, Sounds of the Great Jungle Animals, Volume 2. I told her I'd help her. I told her I liked her. I told her a lot of things. I even told her about the Veruca I got back in seventh grade. I don't know why I did that, only I liked her, see? I kept thinking I'd seen her somewhere before. Still, we were getting on swell. She asked me for another drink, and I turned to get it. Then, it hit me. <laughs> then it hit me in a rather less literal sense, where I'd seen her before. Peaches of Lopez, AKA Gaylene Honeyset, AKA Group Captain Charles Farnsworth DSC, <laughs> AKA Liberty Entry, a cheap gangster's mall who do anyone's dirty work cheap. Suddenly, there was a gun in her hand. Not so fast, Dick. Why, you... <laughs> then in he came. I'd been set up. It was as obvious as a giant, deformed, overcooked Dundee cake on the upper lip of a shy June bride. <laughs> Ho, 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 Tip Tree. Looks like the end of the line for you. Now this guy I did recognize. Nick the Mouth Cropelli, AKA Mustafa Simpson. AKA Lord Peter Woodlark. AKA Nick the Teeth Cropelli. AKA Muggsy the Mug Muggs brother. He'd been trying to close me down for years. Luckily, I spotted something there on the floor. A little relic from a 40th birthday party I recently held for myself. This was my only chance. Say goodbye! Oh, you're going for the bottle, are you? Well, you just wait and see, die. Yeah, got Sit down, sister. <laughs> it was all over. I survived to fight another day. I rang the cops. I asked to speak to Sergeant Murphy O'Donoghue, an old Indian friend of mine. He moved fast. Commit a crime, huh? The very idea. Well, it's sing sing for you two. That's how we treat criminals in this town. <laughs> and me? Well, I learned something. Never trust 
a dame, particularly not a female one. But hey, at least I was alive. I'd beaten the odds again. I decided to celebrate in the only way that I knew how. Ha, 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 ha.